Welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today we are going to make these beautiful butterflies. And this is the page, full page we're going to make. And these butterflies are inspired by silk embroidery butterflies that I've seen on Asian style robes and kimonos. And I think they're just beautiful and so much fun to do. The supplies we're going to need are, I start off with just a pencil, mechanical pencil, a round paintbrush, this is a number six Royal Soft Grip, Sharpie Ultra Fine Point Marker, and a Cigna Uniball White Pen. I also, you're going to need a kneaded eraser, and this paper I'm using is a 140 pound watercolor paper, which I strongly suggest you use for the very best results. You can use anything, but you're going to really appreciate using the heavy duty watercolor paper. It works for you and you'll get terrific results. The other key part of our project is gouache paint. It doesn't sound like it's spelled. It's G-O-U-A-C-H-E. And this is a gouache set. They actually list it as opaque watercolors and it's made by Pelican. And it's a great little travel kit. You just press a button and the top comes open. And then you press the second button and it separates and you have a set of 24 colors plus a tube of white. And these are, you activate them with water, you use them with water, like watercolors, but they're thicker and they are actually opaque. So you can't see through them. And you can use the white uniball on top of it and it makes great contrast. This is, you can see how beautiful the contrast shows up on here. And um, that happens because this paint is opaque and you just can't get the same results with watercolors. So if you can get a set of these on Amazon and the link is right here. I'm gonna put a link right there. And it's also listed below in the comments. There's another link. Um, you should get them. It's very reasonably priced. Uh, I checked all over town getting these for myself and for my students and found the best price for $24 right on Amazon. These butterflies start off sort of as an ugly duckling that turn into a swan. So follow along and you'll see exactly what I mean. By They don't start off looking very good, but before you know it, they're transformed into these beauties. What I wanna do is first figure out a space that I have a space big enough for this. And we're gonna start smaller than the actual space because as we paint them and draw them, they grow, they grow. So. I want to make sure I have enough room here. And I'm just going to turn the paper towards me so I can make sure it's symmetrical. Now this is the body and it's facing straight at me and I can look at it and see if this side is going to be symmetrical to this side. So this is the body and I'm going to make a smallish wing on one side. I kind of get it. Is that right? I'll see right away. I'm facing it if it's not correct so it's a little bit better it doesn't have to be perfect and this is the forewing and our head's going to be right down here our forewing and our hind wing and that's going to come like this this one not the same and that's all we have to draw okay now I'm going to go over and look at my gouache. 
So with my kit, I have a little bit of white, just called Chinese white, Pelican Chinese white, and I'll put that in one of the wells and mix in the one color that I want to use to make a, instead of a dark color, because they're all very intense, I'm going to make a lighter toned color. So I'll start with this. Just come in. And this doesn't look like anything. Start with a simple shape. And every time I make one, I want to make a different one. I want each one to be different and unique. Now what I want to try and get is them to sort of create a V. Do you see how this comes in? And this comes down, and we've sort of got this V in here. I don't want it to be so massive all the way up and down the body of the butterfly. I'm going to get some black, put in the body. So here's our head. And the next segment is the thorax the tail. And I would be, be helpful if I turned it towards me so I could see if I'm painting it straight. Okay. And this body looks a little big right now, but once we add more of the, or the head looks a little bit big for the scale, but once we start going, it's going to Be balanced. So now I'm going to get another color, a darker color, and I'm going to put in a spot here, here, this cell. And then one color down here. come in here now and I'm going to start here right in here I'm going to bring a line out wider than what I have and add more detail to it so I've got one two three and here I only had two one two lobes and so here I'm going to separate it a little bit come out go one two three and bring it together I'm going to do the same thing. Start in here. It becomes a graceful beginning. Two, three. Do it again. Overlay up and bring it out. One, two, three. Okay. okay, do the same thing with the bottom. They join back up together. Do you see how it's beginning to grow? I have a band of black, so I'm going to start another one here. Follow this around. this in with my marker, or I could go over it with my paintbrush.
And on the outside, I want some kind of a decoration here. So I think I'm going to do something a little different. Here I had lines coming out this way. But this time I'll sort of do a So I line them up to so they're sort of even, and then one is in here, this lobe, and the other's in that one. This looks a little empty here, so I need to put another little thing in there. And I'll do the same thing over here. Get fancy. So we start with big areas and then we go smaller and smaller. So I think I will. So kind of start in towards the center. And then I use my light jelly roll pen to add some contrast. Stitches or like little ears, little embroidery stitches in there. And then on the body here, we need to make some interesting patterns. We don't need to do the eyes, but we could. Yeah. Very good. 
And it's just a matter of looking at it and seeing what pleases you. It looked a little dull before the white. I was going to just leave it white, and then I thought, no, well, black and white can add some color to it. But today I'm just going to be doing blue.
I hope you enjoyed making these as much as I did. I'm sure you were success successful and I'm sure they came out better than mine did. Did you see how they started off kind of like an ugly duckling and then transformed into a swan? They all are beautiful, aren't they? Here are two that I did to fit on gift cards. And they work out perfectly for the shape and the size. They're just one butterfly is just perfect size for a gift card. So I hope you try that too. Don't forget to look for the Pelican Opaque Watercolor Set or Gouache Set and give it a try and the link you'll see right here that you can get at Amazon. So thanks for painting with me at Mimi Sketchbook. Please subscribe and you will be notified as soon as I post a new video. So take care and bye.